Hey, what's up guys? I'm DH and we're here at the S3 shop where today we got a big one for you. I'm gonna show you guys how to align your steering clevis perfectly using the S3 shim kit. Let's get to it. Here's a close look at our clevis and shim kit. In this kit, we provided four different thickness shims per side for a total of eight shims altogether. This is the pre-assembled end of the tie rod that slips into the clevis. Here's a close look at the rack once we got the factory inner rod end removed. The idea here is to get the clevis tightened down in an orientation that mimics your shock angle. The number of shims used might be different from machine to machine and even from side to side. That's okay. Here we started with the two middle thickness shims to see where that landed us. We used a couple different tools to get enough leverage to tighten the clevis down properly. We used a long extension and also a breaker bar here. Turns out it was perfect after we got the clevis to tighten down all the way. Once the clevis is tightened down, we can install our tie rod. You wanna make sure your rack boot's pre-installed on the tie rod first. Next, we'll slip the inner heim joint through the clevis and loosely install the provided 5 8 button head bolt and nylock nut. Next, we install the outer rod in with the misalignment spacers in position and the stock bolt or your provided aftermarket bolt. Loosely thread that nut on for now. Next, we're gonna remove the shock completely. This is gonna let us cycle the suspension and make sure we're not getting any clevis binding. From here, you can mimic the suspension cycle easily by lifting the suspension up and down, paying close attention to how the inner heim joint moves inside the clevis. You may need to disconnect your front sway bar if you have one, so you're not trying to lift both sides at once. Once you're satisfied with the clevis alignment, it's time to move to the other side. It's likely that you'll need a different number and or combination of shims to get the proper alignment on the opposite side. That is 100% normal. We're doing the same thing here, getting your clevis tightened down and on the same plane as the lower shock mount. Again, make sure your rack boot is pre-installed and insert your inner heim joint into the clevis and loosely hand thread the nut and bolt on. After that, insert your outer rod in with misalignment spacers into your steering knuckle. Once this is complete, we're gonna mimic the suspension stroke again. Remove your shock completely and cycle the suspension manually to ensure there's no clevis binding. Once you're happy with the alignment, you can button everything back up. We like using red Loctite on all fasteners. All right guys, congrats. Y'all just finished a big job. If you have any questions at all, please call Logan Brazina's personal cell phone number at 318 anytime, day or night.